Gower Champion from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia at wikipedia.org. Gower Carlisle Champion, born June 22, 1919, died August 25, 1980, was an American actor, theater director, choreographer, and dancer. Early Years Champion was born in Geneva, Illinois, the son of John W. Champion and Beatrice Carlisle. He was raised in Los Angeles, California, where he graduated from Fairfax High School. He studied dance from an early age and, at the age of 15, toured nightclubs with friend Gene Tyler, billed as Gower and Gene, America's youngest dance team. In 1939, Gower and Gene danced to the music of Larry Clinton and his orchestra in a Warner Brothers and Vitaphone film short subject, The Dipsy Doodler, released in 1940. Career during the late 1930s and early 1940s, Champion worked on Broadway as a solo dancer and choreographer. After serving in the U.S. Coast Guard during World War II, Champion met Marjorie Belcher, who became his new partner, and the two were married in 1947. In the early 1950s, Marge and Gower Champion made seven film musicals, Mr. Music, 1950 with Bing Crosby, the 1951 remake of Showboat with Howard Keel and Catherine Grayson, 1952's Lovely to Look At, a remake of Roberta, also with Keel and Grayson, the autobiographical Everything I Have is Yours, 1952, Give a Girl a Break, 1953 with Debbie Reynolds and Bob Fosse, Jupiter's Darling, 1955 with Keel and Esther Williams, and Three for the Show, 1955 with Betty Grable and Jack Lemmon. All were made for Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer except Mr. Music, Paramount, and Three for the Show, Columbia. Throughout the 1950s, they performed on a number of television variety shows, and in 1957, they starred in their own short-lived CBS sitcom, The Marge and Gower Champion Show, which was based on their actual career experiences. Gower and Marge Champion appeared as the mystery guests on the May 15, 1955 airing of What's My Line? Mary Healy guessed who they were. In 1948, Champion had begun to direct as well, and he won the first of eight Tony Awards for his staging of Lend an Ear, the show that introduced Carol Channing to New York City theater audiences. During the 1950s, he worked on only two Broadway musicals, choreographing Make a Wish in 1951 and directing, staging, and starring in Three for Tonight in 1955, preferring to spend most of his time in Hollywood. However, in the 1960s, he directed a number of Broadway hits that put him at the top of his profession. He had a solid success in 1960 with Bye Bye Birdie, a show about an Elvis-like rock star about to be inducted into the army. The show starred relative unknowns Cheetah Rivera and Dick Van Dyke, along with a youthful cast. It ran for 607 performances and won four Tony Awards, including Best Musical, and two for Champions Direction and Choreography. Next came Carnival in 1961, which ran for 719 performances and garnered seven Tony nominations, including one for Champion's Direction. In 1964, he directed one of Broadway's biggest blockbusters, Hello, Dolly. It ran for 2,844 performances, almost seven years. Starring Carol Channing, it is best remembered for the title number, where Dolly is greeted by the staff of a restaurant after having been away for years. The show won 10 Tony Awards, including Best Musical, as well as two for Champion's Direction and Choreography. Champion had his fourth consecutive hit musical with I Do, I Do in 1966. It featured a cast of two, veterans Mary Martin and Robert Preston, playing a couple seen throughout the years of their marriage. The show ran for 560 performances and received seven Tony nominations, including one for Champion's Direction. His next show, The Happy Time, in 1968, broke his streak. It had a relatively disappointing run of only 286 performances. This would be followed by many more disappointments and worse. In the 1970s, Champion directed minor hits, Sugar in 1972 and the revival Irene in 1973. Flops, Mac and Mabel in 1974, and Complete Disasters, Rockabye Hamlet, seven performances in 1976, and a Broadway musical running only one night in 1978, not to mention Pretty Bell, which closed out of town in 1971. On top of this, he and Marge were divorced in 1973. After the failures of the previous decade, Champion was able to make a comeback with his longest-running show. In 1980, he choreographed and directed a stage adaptation of the movie classic 42nd Street. It won the Tony for Best Musical, and Champion was nominated for his direction and choreography, winning for the latter. The show ran for 3,486 performances, but Champion did not live to see any. After numerous curtain calls on opening night, producer David Merrick stunned the cast and audience by announcing Champion had died earlier that day. Personal Life 
Champion was married in 1947 to actress Marjorie Celeste Belcher, with whom he had two sons, Blake and actor Greg Champion. In 1976, he married again to Carla Russell. Death Champion was diagnosed in early 1979 with Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia, a rare form of blood cancer, from his doctors at the Scripps Institute. He began treatment at Cedars of Lebanon Hospital in Los Angeles and was advised not to take on work. Champion died at 10 a.m. on August 25, 1980, in Manhattan at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. Champion's death came only 10 hours before the opening night curtain of 42nd Street, the Broadway musical he directed. It would be his greatest success, running nine years. Producer David Merrick asked Champion's family to withhold the news from everyone, including the show's cast, until after the opening performance. During the enthusiastic curtain calls, Merrick came on stage and melodramatically made the announcement to the stunned cast and audience amidst the wild applause. Quote, this is tragic. Gower Champion died this morning. End quote. Broadway credits. Count Me In, Performer, 1942. Linden Ear, Musical Staging, 1948. Small Wonder, Choreographer, 1948. Make a Wish, Choreographer, 1951. Three for Tonight, Director and Performer, 1955. Bye Bye Birdie, Director and Choreographer, 1960. Carnival, Director and Choreographer, 1961. Hello Dolly, Director and Choreographer, 1964. I Do I Do, Director, 1966. Three Bags Full, Director, 1966. The Happy Time, Director and Choreographer, 1968. A Flea in Her Ear, Director, 1969. Pretty Bell, Director and Choreographer, 1971. Sugar, Director and Choreographer, 1972. Irene, Director, 1973. Mac and Mabel, Director and Choreographer, 1974. Rockabye Hamlet, Director and Choreographer, 1976. A Broadway Musical, Production Supervisor, 1978. 42nd Street, Director and Choreographer, 1980. Awards and Nominations Awards 1949 Tony Award for Best Choreography, Lendon Ear 1961 Tony Award for Best Choreography, Bye Bye Birdie 1961 Tony Award for Best Direction of a Musical, Bye Bye Birdie 1964 Tony Award for Best Choreography, Hello Dolly 1964 Tony Award for Best Direction of a Musical, Hello Dolly 1968 Tony Award for Best Choreography, The Happy Time. 1968 Tony Award for Best Direction of a Musical, The Happy Time. 1981 Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Choreography, 42nd Street. 1981 Tony Award for Best Choreography, 42nd Street. Nominations. 1962 Tony Award for Best Direction of a Musical, Carnival. 1967 Tony Award for Best Direction of a Musical, I Do I Do. 1973, Tony Award for Best Choreography, Sugar. 1973, Tony Award for Best Direction of a Musical, Sugar. 1975, Tony Award for Best Choreography, Mac and Mabel. 1975, Tony Award for Best Direction of a Musical, Mac and Mabel. 1981, Tony Award for Best Direction of a Musical, 42nd Street. This article was recorded on September 22, 2019.